Hi, my name's Alex and today I'll be taking you through this week's question and answer session from us here at Anova Systems. Thanks for watching. We've recently been asked how to lock the rotation of um, components in an assembly. Now if I open up this sub-assembly here, you'll see that we have three components in total. We have the crankshaft, which is fixed. We have the crank arm, um, which has been fully defined. And we have the crank knob, which is underdefined. The reason that the crank knob is underdefined is because it's free to rotate. You can see its origin spinning round. Um, now it doesn't really matter in this case that the component is underdefined because it's symmetrical basically so it's always going to look the same whatever angle um, it's rotated by. But if you do want to lock the rotation there are a couple of options available to you. Um, in 2014 we actually gave the option to lock the rotation within the concentric mate. To do this find the concentric mate and you can either right click it and select lock rotation or if you go into the um, property manager here there is now an option to lock rotation within there so as you add the mate you can choose to lock the rotation at that point okay once you lock the rotation you'll notice that the icon changes so a component with its lo rotation locked has given a, a filled um, inside circle and um, without the rotation locked you can see it's, it's, it's clear. So that's one method to, to, to lock rotation of components. Another is to constrain planes or faces coincident or parallel. Now you'll see here that this is free to rotate around. So what I could do here is I could say I want to select that face and that face and make those two faces parallel with each other and that locks the rotation. Alternatively I could change that mate to um, an angled mate and choose whatever angle that I wanted from within this dialog box here. Now sometimes you won't have a plane of face that you can um, relate to. So in this instance we can use standard planes. Okay, So if we look at this component here you can see within it there are a front plane and a right plane that I could potentially use to generate this mate. All I need to do is select one of those planes, select the face or a plane that I want to relate it to and then choose to make that parallel. Okay, so um, hopefully that answers the, the question and um, thanks for watching.